Did you sense that your team was improving in that two-week period going into this game? Yeah, I thought we made a lot of uh, a lot of progress in, in, in some areas, particularly the kicking game. And uh, even though we gave up a lot of yards and still made some mistakes in the secondary, I, th I thought we made some improvement. So uh, we had some injuries after the first game. We were able to get a couple guys healthy. Uh, some a guy like Al Gay uh, was hurt during practice, and we missed him in the game. But all in all, I think uh, the two weeks were probably good for us. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Of course, the Badgers' first meeting with Stanford since 1960. Stanford came into this game averaging more than 220 yards rushing. You were able to shut their running game down pretty well. We'll see a couple plays here by Jason Manecki and Tarek Sala stuffing the run. The kids played the run pretty well. We gave them a couple, uh, a couple runs, uh, but for the most part, I thought we played them pretty well. I think they had about 95 yards rushing. Now the Badgers driving on their second possession. Daryl Bevel to Matt Nyquist, 19 yards at the 45. We moved the ball, bo uh, both running the ball and in the air. And here's Carl McCullough starting out as he did, picked up right where he left off against Colorado, running hard with the football. Carl had a good game, had a couple hundred yards. He rushed, uh, rushed for a couple hundred yards, and uh, that's a pretty good day's work. And Daryl Bevel to Royce Roberson. The Badgers get the ball to the five-yard line, and that's where your drive stalled. And we've got a first and goal at the five and, and don't get a chance to get a touchdown here. And that's what we've got to do. We've got to get, we've got to get the ball in the end zone. John Hall's 23-yard field goal makes it 3-0. Late in the first half, the defense forced a turnover. Leonard Taylor forcing Greg Clark to fumble. Yeah, we haven't had many. That's, only, that's the only turnover we've had in two games. And uh, uh, those are some things that we're going to have to pick up on. Move to the second quarter now. Bevel to Michael London for a big third down play. It gets him 10 yards. Then McCullough rambles for five more. And the Badgers get it to the 20 before that drive stalls. And uh, I know disappointing for you. A chance for some points here. But John Hall just kind of hooked that one. John hooks the ball. And, you know, you've got to cash in. If you don't get, if you like, uh, last time we're on the five yard line and get three instead of a touchdown. And here uh, we're in scoring position. We need to get points. Now, you put some pressure on Butterfield, but he did a pretty good job a couple of times avoiding it. A nice nice scramble there to get Stanford close as they're uh, driving. But then a big play by your defense knocking the ball away here on, on third and goal. Yeah, we, our defense had a good stand right here. And Tarek Sala, I thought, played another very solid game. Made some very big plays. Stanford settles for a field goal. That makes it 3-3. And then uh, a little boost here from Aaron Stecker. Bobbles it momentarily, but then finds a nice hole. See some good blocking, and th this gives us life, and this is where you want to respond after a score that you get the ball back in good field position, and that's something we didn't do a week ago, so it was, uh, it was good progress in that area. Now you go for it on fourth and short. You get the pass to Cecil Martin and then go right back to Martin. Bevel to Martin, a 12-yard touchdown, and that makes it 10-3. Uh, to three. Good effort by Cecil, and... Uh, really a good effort there and good job of catching the ball on the, the, the down before on fourth and he dives into the end zone and it looked like you're in business there with 250 left to go in the half but then Butterfield goes to work to Mark Harris 26 that gets him down to the near 13 yard line yeah th this is a this is uh this phase really bothered me because we, we were trying to get the ball back used a couple timeouts and uh they were able to get a first down, hit a couple big plays, and get get some momentum going into the ha going in at half. Butterfield, the bookman there, 13 yards, and it's 10-10 at the half. And I'm sure that was disappointing, as you see, because you thought you had some momentum going in. Well, we were moving the ball, and uh, uh, we had them uh, se second and long, and third and four or five, and and uh, we, we took a chance and blitz, try to get the ball back, uh, maybe try to get some points before the half, and and they hit one on us and and, and got themselves in field position. So you don't want to give that momentum. Uh, to the team at the half. So that, that, that definitely uh, hurt us. All right, there's more to come on the Barry Alvarez Show. When we come back, we'll take a look at the second half and get some of the post-game reaction from the players. Fiduciary Management Incorporated, General Casualty Insurance Companies, Kennedy Hahn TV and Appliance, m and Banks, MCP Corporation, Mendota Gridiron Club, Non's Flooring of Middleton, Old Style Beer, Sundance Photo, and Wycor. A purchase of jewelry from Danford Jewelers symbolizes many things. It has sentimental value, and it also has Danford's quality, value, and service behind it. At Danford Jewelers, we choose from the finest jewelry collections in the world. The highest quality craftsmanship, unparalleled perfection, right here in Madison. There's no need to go anywhere else. 
Come in and see the new Danford Jewelers and our continued commitment to excellence. Danford Jewelers in the new Danford Plaza. Okay, on the can of Old Style, there's a story that involves a little frog. Mm -hmm. And for years, people have played Find the Frog. So before you take a sip, you have to find the frog. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Begin. Is that it? Yeah. Really? Nice work. There's a little Viking on here, too. Yeah, I saw it with the helmet. It's back here. Mm. Honey, why don't you start a fire? Honey, why don't you start a fire? Okay. Gas fireplaces. Clean, efficient, and easy. Wisconsin football has become a national power, and you can be part of the excitement by joining the Mendota Gridiron Club, a tax-exempt nonprofit organization. Your contributions support Badger football and assist the head coach and his staff in maintaining a successful program. Membership entitles you to attend weekly fall meetings, the awards banquet, and many other special functions. For more information, call 608-262-7200. Experience firsthand the team that has the rest of the country talking. Join the Mendota Gridiron Club. All right, let's get to the second half here. You're looking for a good start in the second half, and you get it here. Uh, first possession of the second half, and Carl McCullough continues to run well. 20 yards on this one, add a 15-yard personal foul, and you guys are in business at the Stanford 45. Carl's running again very hard, and uh, picks his holder some pretty good blocking there, but he makes an awful lot on his own. Now, here's the fourth and one on the Stanford 36, and he comes up big again. Sometimes you can really bust those short yardage ones. Yeah, Carl picks his way through there. He's a long strider, but you saw him make some good adjustments there. And and again, make people miss. And he finishes it off for a 17-10 Badger lead, but then on the ensuing kickoff, uh, this hurts. Big play by, by Stanford. Marlon Evans up the middle, 58 yards, and before John Hall knocks him out of bounds. Yeah, again, that, this is the one phase of our kicking game that, uh, that broke down, and uh, we've normally been pretty, gar pretty darn good in, uh, in that phase of it, and we let them get some pretty good returns on us. And then Stanford gets on the board, Butterfield to Camella, and it's a 17-17 game. Back come the Badgers. McCullough, as we said, 204 yards rushing on 34 carries. He almost breaks this one. Yeah, he, I think his leg, his, his ankle bothered him a little bit right there, so he couldn't pull away. But good blocking and an excellent job of running. Now, fourth and four, Bevel to Michael London. A big fourth down play. That gets you to the Stanford 10-yard line. Good, good throw and catch. And then uh, Bevel to Nyquist. You see Nyquist going in motion, and he'll just curl over the middle for the score. Good execution. Matt, Matt's done a nice job of catching the ball for us, and uh, this was a good drive for us. Did a nice job of picking his way through the secondary, but Stanford comes right back, and it's uh, Butterfield to, to Manning, and this is 35 yards. See, those big chunks. This is what, what hurt us during the ball game. We were giving up some big chunks of yardage, and uh, and some throws and allowing them to get back in. And then Butterfield goes to Camella and that ties the game 24-24 with five minutes to go. Now, you got the ball back, you drove down to the stand for 40. You had gone for a couple of fourth down situations before. This particular case, you decide try and pin Stanford deep in their own end, in yeah. their own territory. Well, we were fourth and five right here and uh, there was over two minutes left and we were trying to get them pinned back and, and got exactly what we wanted. The ball's on about the one yard line or inside the one yard line we have a chance to score on defense and and uh, but we let them off the hook here yeah big third and four play got them out and then they drove down uh, inside your territory eventually and then last gas butterfield's pass incomplete as time runs out and both teams settle for a 24 24 tie let's get some yeah, reaction just, from the from the badger wrong, players but i mean just gotta try and look at the positives i mean Offense scored more points, the defense gave up less, so it's just, you know, we just got to try and look back on the film and correct our mistakes again. Closer to a loss than, than it is to a win. I mean, it, it's tough, I mean, because when you work in, as far as everything, wins are the only thing that counts. I think the guys got a lot better. They, they did, you know, some great things out there. We caught the ball well, we ran the ball well, you know, um, and, and things got better. The, the, the special teams got better. You know, there's still some improvement there, but, you know, I mean, we, we got a lot better. It's a hard thing to deal with it. 
I thought we had him, and uh, we just didn't, uh, you know, you know, can make make the plays at the end uh, to to win that to win it when we had him. But uh, you know, we just got to regroup and move on. We had uh, too many opportunities that you know that we didn't finish the deal on. You know, we we came too close too many times and, and didn't didn't come away with points. It just seems to leave a, a bitter taste in your mouth. You know, whenever you don't win, it all you always get a bitter taste in your mouth. And uh, we just try to build off of what we can out of this film, you know, and get ready again next week. It's frustrating, you know. Everyone wants that victory. And, uh, you know, right now we just haven't gotten it. You know, we just got to keep working. And pretty soon it's going to come for us. Let's take a closer look now. Two statistics really jump out at you, Barry. The rushing yardage for the Badgers. You just about doubled Stanford in rushing yardage. Flip-flop that, though. Stanford just about doubled you up in the passing de department. Those are, I guess, yeah, that, two, two, two pretty keys right there. Well, they, they stayed alive, and they got big plays in their, in their throwing game. And uh, they're a team that was trying to establish the run. And, uh, you know, I felt that we could control it. I, you know, I knew they'd run, some, run the ball some on us, but I thought we could control the run. Uh, I thought they would have to come back to the throw, but I, I thought we'd play a little better now. You know, we can't say this enough. Really, for a lot of your guys, it's on-the-job training. I mean, it's I mean, it's baptism under fire for these youngsters. Well, it, it really is, and, and, and you take things for granted, you know, when you've got a veteran team, but you know, every little wrinkle and, and uh, everything that, every change during a ball game uh, is new for some of these guys for some of these young players and you have to adjust and you have to learn and and that's why I've said all along hopefully we'll continue to get better as as the season goes along but uh, we're getting good effort and 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 they're young and and uh, they're willing and we just got to keep uh, moving forward and, and trying to get better okay the Barry Alvarez show rolls on when we return we'll take you around the Wisconsin campus you'll meet one of the university's outstanding professors Hi, my name is Ted Kellner, President of Fiduciary Capital Growth Fund. Over the long term, stocks have outperformed other financial assets. Since 1950, $1 invested in small capitalization stocks has grown to $418 versus $202 for the S&P 500, $12 for U.S. Treasury bonds, and $6 for the Consumer Price Index. Despite market volatility, Fiduciary Capital Growth Fund has provided superior rates of return for long-term patient investors by investing in smaller companies which we feel will grow at above average rates. The fund has achieved a 13.21% annual rate of return since its inception on December 18, 1981. This means that a $10,000 investment at that time has grown to $53,567 with capital gains distributions and dividends reinvested. For a free prospectus on either of our funds, please call 414-226-4555 or write Fiduciary Funds, 225 East Mason Street, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53202. Thanks very much. That's what I like. We love the farmland extra tender pork. That's what I like about. The organic fruits and vegetables are awesome. That's what I like about. That's Cops has such a big selection. I like the Coleman natural beef. It's lean and low in fat and cholesterol. We love the old world crusty bread. It's baked daily and they slice it to order. We, we like cops. M&I has been a Wisconsin banking tradition for over 140 years. Today, there are over 225 M&I offices throughout the state. So you can do all of your banking wherever you see this sign of convenience. M&I Bank. Member FDIC. For over a quarter century, Sundance Photo developed Mid-America's film. Sundance carefully processed more than 100 million rolls of your precious moments and cherished memories. Sundance turns your snapshots into works of art. And our master prints make time stand still in living color. You know, attracting good athletes to Wisconsin is made easier with the strong academic reputation of the university. From time to time, we'll step off the gridiron and tackle the classroom aspect of Wisconsin football. This week, we beam across campus to the Space Science Program, where they're exploring the final frontier.
Coach Alvarez learned about the tools of the trade as he traveled around the campus. The space science program at the UW is one of the best in the country, and Professor Art Code is a big reason why. He recently showed me the Whoopi Space Telescope that was designed and built here on the UW campus. The Whoopi returned to Madison this summer after completing the longest space mission ever. Susan Simon introduces us to one of this country's premier space scientists. Call him the UW's very own Captain Kirk. Professor Art Code has spent most of his life studying the final frontier. When I was still in grade school, I decided I wanted to be uh, an astrophysicist, not an astronomer. I didn't really know what an astrophysicist was at that time, but it sounded pretty good. Good enough to bring him to the UW in 1950. In his nearly four decades on campus, Professor Code has been more than a teacher. He's been an integral part of several team projects that launched the UW program into the national spotlight. Projects like the Wisconsin Ultraviolet Photopolarimeter Experiment, more commonly known as the Whoopi Space Telescope. It was designed and built in Madison. We were going for 16 days, 24 hours a day, a, a team from Wisconsin. And you can keep it up when you have that uh, excitement and uh, the extra adrenaline that everybody gets. The Whoopi recently returned to campus after completing the longest mission ever on the Space Shuttle Endeavor, a trip which Professor Code has always dreamed of making. Oh, I would love to go into space. I can't uh, make a real sound scientific argument for it. Well, I was a little bit too old at each stage to get into that, I guess. Although, if you uh, want to become an astronaut, that's... Uh, completely occupying. I mean, you can't do other things then very well. Professor Code retired this summer, but his contributions to the UW will always remain out of this world. Were you aware of the prominence of the space science program here at the university? Not really. The more, I, but the more I get around campus, the more I'm amazed with uh, with what we really offer here and what a world-class university we have. Every nook and cranny, every department has its own uniqueness and uh, expertise and going up and spending time with, uh, with with Art Code, I mean it was it was amazing to hear the things that, that we've accomplished here. That's a real selling point for you when you go out and recruit young young athletes, student athletes. Well they're, they're coming here for an education and uh, I've said all along we don't have to take a back seat to anyone when it comes to to, ed to education. Our, our, our university is is world-class and, and one of the premier universities in the country. Okay when we come back we'll meet one of the new faces on the block, a special Badger assistant coach. Founded in 1947, MCP Company has been a national leader in color separations, rotogravure services, and printing. From the very beginning, our corporate mission has been to anticipate the needs of our customers by continually updating technology and improving our support and services, from film stripping to plate making, from litho to roto, from pre-press to printing, MCP delivers quality. MCP delivers success. Let MCP deliver for you. Nunn's Flooring of Middleton backs the Badgers like they back their beautiful floors all the way. From the state capitol to UW's Granger Hall and the College of Engineering, UW football offices and the McLean Center. Nunn's Flooring brings quality with them statewide. Quality workmanship, quality products, quality service. And just as they stand behind the Badgers, they stand behind their floors. Call 800-383-3435. Hi, I'm Ken Nunn of Nunn's Flooring in Middleton. Put us on your floor covering team. Go Badgers! When your TV needs repair, does it seem like other stores speak a different language? Compare it to the reception you get at Kennedy Hahn. When it comes to setting a time to repair your TV or appliance, some stores just keep feeding you a line. At Kennedy Hahn, we never leave you hanging. When it comes to delivery, some TV and appliance stores keep piling on the promises. But we're never wishy-washy about our next day delivery guarantee at Kennedy Hahn. Okay, on the can of Old Style, there's a story that involves a little frog. And for years, people have played Find the Frog. So before you take a sip, you have to find the frog. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Begin. Is that it? Yeah. Really? Nice work. There's a 
A little Viking out here, too. Yeah, I saw it with the helmet. It's back here. Mm. Dad, before you read my report card, let me explain. Just undo it. There seems to be a problem with your checking account. Just undo it. Traffic is backed up for two miles on... Just undo it. At the end of the day, just step into your own private spa and just undo it. He's another one of the new faces in the Badger coaching staff this season. Jay Hayes comes to Wisconsin from the University of California, where he was outside linebackers and special teams coach. He's coaching the outside linebackers, special teams, and strong safeties at Wisconsin. Hayes also coached with Barry Alvarez at the University of Notre Dame. Jay Hayes joins us along with punter Brian Alexander. Welcome. Jay, was it a difficult transition for you or an easy transition coming from Cal to here? It was easy. Um... I'm real comfortable with the people that I work here with and have known them for a long time, so it's it's been very easy. Barry, how was it for, for you knowing Jay and already working with him at uh, Notre Dame when you know with the hiring process with him? Well, I felt very fortunate to be able to get Jay to to join us on the staff and uh, coached in the bowl game last year and came in, knew the terminology and had worked with John Palermo and myself, and so it was real easy for him just to step right in and coach. And uh, we've known each other for for even longer than before Notre Dame. So uh, I just felt very fortunate to be able to get Jay to, to join us. Of course, one of Jay's duties is special teams. Brian Alexander, the punter from the special teams, joins us. Brian, you've been getting kind of baptism under fire here. Uh, your first experience is punting for the, for, for the Badgers. How's it been going for you? Um, nothing like I'm used to back home at a junior college. We had not always the best snap, and I mean, it's just something to going through right now that's going to happen sooner or later and maybe it's a good thing it's happening right now I get a feel for you know something you know a bad snap you know something rolling back to me but it's not really a problem. Where would you assess Jay the, the special teams now after a couple of games I mean it's obvious there's been some improvement from the first week to the second week. We've gotten better but we're not where we need to be um, we need to be able to go out and execute perfectly every time and until we get that done, no one will be satisfied and the kids won't be and the coaching staff won't be. And uh, As soon as that happens, then uh, we'll be clicking on all cylinders. Barry, I know special teams has always been a uh, high priority for you. I mean, that, that can make the difference between a couple of wins in the season. Well, that's an awful lot of snaps in a ball game and it can set up points. It, uh, you know, it can, can create points and, and uh, you know, that's when we've spent a lot of time on it and we put an emphasis on it. We, give, we have almost as much time uh, in meeting and, and, and that type of thing as, uh, in special teams as we do in all phases of the game. So uh, we try to let our players know how important it is, and uh, that's, a, that's an area where you can win games. Brian, you feel more comfortable even now than you did uh, the opening game. I mean, talk about a baptism under fire, playing in a big crowd compared to a junior college. You're playing in front of all those people at, at Camp Randall. You feel more comfortable now out there? Um, I felt comfortable first game. That's, I was kind of excited to see all the people, you know, cheering for us, and that just kind of relaxed me, and I was able to go out there and punt. It's just a little more used to things, you know, as the weeks go by, you know, in, the, in the school and stuff, and get more relaxed and everything. Brian, Jay, thanks for joining us. We're just about set to wrap things up for this week. When we come back, we'll look ahead to the next game. We got the car. We got the car. Ah! It was so cool of your dad to let you take the car. Help me about it. All right, where do you want to go? Let's go to the mall. Did you hear something? I hear nothing. I hear no music. I'm so sorry. Make your life safer. Get Pick Up and Go Cellular from Ameritech. Our safety pack has the phone and service plan you need. Or choose a pack designed for you. Hear anything now? No. Dad? Hi. Ameritech, your link to better communication. Wisconsin is great in general, such a beautiful state in general. We're right here at home, our pride is homegrown, we're Wisconsin's own in general. Insurance individually, general casualty.
Amidai has been a Wisconsin banking tradition for over 140 years. Today, there are over 225 Amidai offices throughout the state. So you can do all of your banking wherever you see this sign of convenience. Amidai Bank, member FDIC. For over a quarter century, Sundance Photo developed Mid-America's film. Sundance carefully processed more than 100 million rolls of your precious moments and cherished memories. Sundance turns your snapshots into works of art. And our master prints make time stand still in living color. On September 22nd, the Mendota Gridiron Club is holding its weekly Madison meeting at Fitzgerald's. For more information, call the Mendota Gridiron Club at 608-262-7200. Very injury-wise, how'd you guys come out of this game? Well, uh, uh, Soup Campbell pulled a hamstring, and uh, I believe it was in the fourth quarter, or late in the third quarter, and uh, he'll probably be miss, miss uh, a couple weeks. Jamie Vanderbilt uh, hurt his shoulder. Uh, probably have a chance to have Jamie back this week. Carl's got a sore ankle, but uh, it was sore going into the game, and that, that should be okay. Are you seeing, I mean, you've been saying that you just want this team to get better each week. I mean, you, you feel good that you're seeing the improvement that, that you need after, after two games? I mean, you don't have a win to show for it yet, but are, are, are you seeing that the, the, the progress? Well, we've made progress, and we've got to, we're certainly not where we need to be, and we have to continue to make progress. Uh, uh, but as long, we, we are moving in the right direction. Good to get back home again after this really a, a long trip. It's a long plane ride out there and back. Yeah, that's it's a long haul. I, I thought we handled it very well. I thought uh, our plan to go out there and get the kids acclimated with the uh, time change was good, but it's always good to play at home. All right, that's our show for this week. Join us next week when we review the Badgers' next opponent, the SMU game. The Barry Alvarez Show has been brought to you by Ameritech. Cops Company of Stevens Point, Danford Jewelers of Madison, Fiduciary Management Incorporated, General Casualty Insurance Companies, Kennedy Hahn TV and Appliance, M&I Banks, MCP Corporation, Mendoza Gridiron Club, Nons Flooring of Middleton, Old Style Beer, Sundance Photo, and Wycor. across America, people working to build their futures rely on an independent insurance agent to protect their homes, autos, and lives, and more businesses and employees than anyone else. It pays to make the independent choice. For over 75 years, the Neckerman Agency has been protecting the insurance needs of the Madison area. And we would like to extend this protection to you. As independent agents, we compare your insurance with several companies. Call us for the right insurance at the right price. What memories might a ball field provide to a youngster? The green expanse of turf that seems to go on forever. Sportsmanship and friendships that could last a lifetime. Little League Baseball means so much in a child's life. Your tax-deductible donation will help build new playing fields. The future Oscar Mayer Park. WISC-TV3 asks that you please help the friends.